What's up guys? Have you ever painted with one of these brushes? You know you have to wash them and if you don't they're going to get crusty and you'll have to buy another one and they're very expensive. So today I'm going to show you a pretty cool tool uh, to wash these brushes super super easily. You don't have to use your hands. All you'll need is a little driller like that. Make it tight. There you go. As you can see it's been used and I tried to wash it but looks like I forgot a spot and now I have crusts over here. So pretty much wasting this whole thing. And I can just feel the paint coming out from it and dust. We all try to paint our own house because everybody can paint, you know, whatever, try to save money. And we all try to save these brushes because if you don't wash them, they're going to just be hard as a rock and you'll have to throw them away. So instead of touching it with your hands, grab it like that. For some reason it's not coming off, they go. Just bend it like that. Hopefully your roller is a little bit better than mine. Looks like I have to use my hand because my roller is just so old. There you go. But if you have a newer roller, you can shake it off like that and not touch it with your hand. Then you push this two. like that and then just turn it on and let's see what happens wow maybe get yourself a taller bucket too the other way too that's like spray paint that's crazy okay wow look at that it's already looking much much better and fluffier than it used to be okay now I'm going to rinse off the bucket and fill it up with water. Next you get the bucket with water, put it in. Whoa! Whoa! Maybe too much water. I should have got a bigger bucket. I just wanted to you guys to see. But wow! Now see the difference, you see this from hand washing the brush, it didn't even come off and you're gonna have to keep refilling the buckets, this is so quick, this tool is so worth it, I can't believe it now, just pull it like that, take it off. I know guys, but this thing is definitely worth it, especially if you paint a lot, you need to wash off few of these your job would be a lot easier with this thing. What I'm really excited about is this attachment. Let's see what it's all about. Because without this attachment, these screws are going to be useless for regular drill. So it looks like we plug it in over here, just push it and turn, and I guess it will pop it in. So now it's not coming off. Next stage, we're gonna put it into here. Then we're just gonna stick this belt to like that. As you can hear, it's clicking. Let's tie it out. No way. Look at that. One screw got missed. Not a big deal. Wow. This is so satisfying and easy. You know, I was fixing gold barn, putting up plywood. Gosh, I wish I had this too. Look at that. You can just keep going. How cool is that? Oh, some of them do sleep. There you go. You don't want to go too fast. You want to go firm. That way they will sleep. Amazing, look at that. Look at that, all the screws went in. Whenever this one didn't go in because I was way too much in a rush. So you wanna do it slowly but firmly. 
on this side all the screws went all the way through as well as you can see wow i wish i had this tool a long long time ago i have done so many videos with screwdriver that's an amazing attachment because i can always pull that off and use this as a regular drill too let's say load just put new tape in line it up boom that is super simple Amazing, unbelievable. At the end there I start messing up again, but you see how many of them were really good. Next shot I'm gonna show you the close-up. Definitely don't have to use a second hand, but you can to make it firmer. You see whenever I go too fast no way, it's just gonna snap them off. So it's best to just do it slowly. Let's see if I can... I can still push it in the ones that didn't go all the way. This one didn't go all the way too. Let's see if I can grab it. No, I can't. Yeah, I can. Smart turner, lock turner. So let's unbox it and see what it's all about. Oh wow, beautiful. Love it when I don't have to assemble anything. Look at this lock turner mechanism. And there's springs right here. There's pretty sharp teeth, but won't cut you. So that way you grab it and turn it, grab it and turn it. Let's go put it to the test because it's hard to show you what I'm talking about without actually doing that. Imagine this is a long, long log and this is pretty decent size. Let's say you did a bunch of cuts but you want to flip it over or just move it over. You put this thing over to finish off the cuts. You see how you get more leverage by spinning it like that? Super nice. One more time. This way, you see how it's keep grabbing it, readjusting it and grabbing it by going a little bit backwards. Very nice leverage, you see, you go like that and spin in a giant log. Over here, obviously this is just a small one, you could probably do it with the biggest, much much bigger one. I guess it's supposed to grab it from the bottom, but for now I just have to pull it out from there. Oh, that's nice. Oh, okay, maybe I was holding it the wrong way. There you go. One more time. Grab it, push it, then second one will lock in. And grab it and push it, then you keep going. The bigger log, the less times you have to kind of re-grab in it. Pretty awesome tool right here. Love it. Seems to be pretty durable too. This log is not cut up, but look at that. You could just grab it and pull on the whole thing, on both of them. Also, you can just slowly rotate it by just lifting one piece. You go in and lock it in. Then you can go with the other piece and roll it over. Plenty, plenty of grip to move the whole tree. I just need to cut it off. This is a pretty cool tool. 
you know what definitely thumbs up for me i would definitely use it especially when i log on the ground i can cut it down all these pieces flip it over and cut it all the way more down for firewood zip snip this is pretty much a little tool that invents scissors uh, i have put to the test a lot of tools by works they make pretty cool innovative tools so let's see if this one actually works okay it looks like there's an easy open thing not that easy i wish i had this tool to open this box up on the instructions it tells you it can cut paper looks like carpet chips bags and boxes we're gonna put this to the test and obviously all these other ideas like linoleum and cardboard and whatever else they're talking about so let's start what happened here there you go This is nice, okay. I'm learning how to use this. Almost cannot cut the box all the way open that it came with. Because it's weird shape box over here, I'd say. If it was flat box, it would be easier, but look at that we opened it all the way okay this one is flat let's see if it will work much better oh yeah on the flat as you can see it works way way better oops just keep that in mind boom and it opened it up pretty awesome we'll put that to the test in the future i might keep this for unboxing some cool gadgets like that out here i have a lot of items coming this kind of things and it's so annoying to open them up it will make it much easier okay got out here a box wow 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 this is amazing and it's pretty straight too wow that's so cool so cardboard cuts it really well this is a really cool scissors over here Okay, what about those eBay packages? I get the eBay packages and plastics like that. Oh, maybe I need to kind of stretch it out. Let's start from this side. There you go. Just got jumped a little bit, boom. And then you have here pretty easily cuts plastic, sometimes jumps a little bit. What about fabric? Wow, fabric really, really easily as well. Kind of jumps a little bit, so you kind of want to keep it tight, I guess. Look, it's even cut to a stain. Pretty awesome. Okay, let's try to do one layer, one line. I know, this is pretty amazing. I'm not a professional sewer, uh, but opening packages and everyday use, I think it's thumbs up for me. I like this a lot. Drill range, how unique is that? So you're using a regular electric drill, just like on this picture right here, to, I don't know, pull up lawnmower side by side, four wheelers, pull up some logs, pull your car out in case your car does not have a winch you could use that i love pretty unique tools and that definitely makes a list oh nice no need any kind of assembly ready to go to release it all we have to do is open it like that and it's supposed to oh no it pulls up there you go cool let's try to pull something up pretty cool swivel hook Hook it up like that. Let's say I need to pull up, up the car. Pull this tight up to a tree. For example, here I'm gonna pull this tire log splitter thing that I built a long time ago. Put this in. You wanna lock it right here? Next. Oh wow, look at that. It spins, but it doesn't go right away. You could probably make it much, much faster. 
but to be safe I would put it on low but since we don't have much weight on it I'm gonna put it on max and look at that it's pulling the thing it's pretty heavy maybe not to destroy it I'll probably keep it on five pretty amazing emergency tool around the farm we do get stuck around the winter time so this thing is way better than a rope and you can use this to pull it up stuff or just put a side by side on a trailer in case it's broken definitely will be very useful Amazing. Okay, I'm gonna unlock it. Let's start to remove this. There you go. So if you ask me, very unique but easy to use tool, don't need any kind of batteries, super simple, just bring yourself a drill, amazing.